Good morning! In this video, we're going to be going over some healthy girl habits that I've incorporated into my life and how you can incorporate into your own life to make yourself productive, healthy, and thriving. So first thing I'm going to tell you to do is to make your bed in the morning. I've been doing this for years. Starting off your morning, taking off a task just sets the tone for the rest of the day. It's going to ensure that you are productive for the rest of the day. Think about it. You started off the morning taking off that first task and it was probably effortless, right? If you guys do normally make your bed, think of how long it takes. It takes not even five minutes, right? First thing you wake up, do that. If you're a type of person to check your phone first thing in the morning, imagine switching it out for making your bed first thing in the morning. Instead of checking for others, checking social media, you know, seeing everything, getting that dopamine hit, make your bed. Get that dopamine hit from that. Feel accomplished. And then the rest of the day is going to come with ease. Have a set routine. You hear this over and over, consistency is key. Routine is part of discipline. There's days where for sure I don't wanna do something, but I get up and I do it because I know I have to be disciplined. There's days where I don't wanna get out of bed. I don't wanna work out, you know? Like the, working out is the last thing in my mind, but I tell myself that I have goals, I'm disciplined, and that at least going to the gym and showing up is one step further than just sitting in bed and lounging around all day, right? You showed up, you did the work. And I just know that the time that I invest into my workout routine or being healthy, eating healthy things is going to pay off in the long run. So to me, it's just investing in myself. Having these set routines and habits signals to your body that it's time to be productive. I know that every single morning I'm gonna invest in myself, I'm gonna do some skincare, oral hygiene, all that stuff. And I know that when my mental health is lacking or I'm feeling really anxious, these are the first things that are going to slip. So if you've done your research on anxiety and depression, you know that the first thing to go is personal hygiene, right? What do people do when they're depressed? They don't wanna shower, they don't wanna brush their teeth, they don't wanna put on deodorant, they don't wanna smell good, they don't wanna look good. So the first thing I do is prioritize myself. I'm gonna invest in myself. Skincare is very easily something that I could do quickly in the morning. It makes me feel like, yeah, I'm taking care of myself. Um, it's very therapeutic for me. And it just sets the tone for the rest of the day. I'm investing in myself. And now every other thing that I do today will also be investing in myself instead of giving my energy to others. Keep healthy and nutritious things in your fridge so that when you are hungry, you're not going to go grab those unhealthy, you know, types of junk food. Um, you can meal prep ingredients if you don't want to meal prep full meals, but I make sure my fridge is stocked with a lot of fruits, vegetables, healthy things that I can just grab. My supplement routine, I have been trying these ghost products and honestly, I love them. They have a vegan protein. I've been using the hydration in lemon lime and also the pump product. They also have creatine. And of course, I'm going to be trying that out today, this hydration lemon lime mix. This is the first time I'm trying it out. My brother got it for me and he said it tastes like Gatorade. And honestly, I love it. Now, I like to provide my body with electrolytes, especially when I'm going to be working out because when you sweat, you're releasing electrolytes, which are like salt, sodium, stuff like that. This pump product um, actually helps you. I think it helps deliver oxygen to the blood. So you get that like nice pump. So I'm taking these first things in the morning, prioritizing my body, and then I'm using light cream cheese with this everything bagel. And that's just my easy go-to breakfast. And it's not anything heavy, you know, it's not too light. It's just enough to give me some carbs and fuel for my workout. Hi guys, long time, no speak. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so, 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 so long. 
so today we are just doing a kind of like get back on track type of video so i'm going to the gym let's see what time it is because so it's 8 11. i said i was gonna go to the gym at 9 but i'm kind of hoping that i can get there Ooh, but yeah i'm hoping i can get there out the door 8 30. so i'm gonna get dressed eat this bagel have my little drinky drink and let's go mm. the outfit so i got my spooky tea i changed the outfit because i was like mm, i'm not feeling that i'm not feeling that on leg days i don't really like to show my too much skin i don't know because i'm bending and stuff like that i don't know so this is the outfit i got my spooky tea jason friday the 13th and then i got my madison ginley leggings cute we gonna hit a leg day let's go <laughs> try this ghost hydration lemon lime apparently my brother tried it and he said it tastes like gatorade like lemon lime let's try it out mm. i'm thirsty oh yeah it's good it's good let's go honestly never underestimate how a cute gym fit can make you feel but like others have said, this is not just the motivation that's gonna get you to the gym, right? You need to motivate yourself. So I'm here packing my gym bag with all the essentials that I need so that I don't feel tempted to skip a workout. So I have my gym shoes, resistance bands for stretching. I have a nice sweat towel, you know, my little fanny pack for the gym. I wanna smell good, I wanna look good. Honestly, if you make your pre-gym routine like as if you're getting ready to go out to the club you know you're hyping yourself up you're gonna feel good you're gonna have that energy you know you're not gonna feel like this is a chore you want to have fun so make it fun So something that I have noticed for myself is that I prefer working out in the morning because that's just when I have the most energy and I also like to do the hardest thing in my day, the most the most energy that's requiring the most energy, I like to just get it done with, right? So that used to be my workouts and I would just do that in the morning, but now that I work full time, I can't really do that anymore. So I can't really work out in the mornings or I, I just choose not to, honestly. Um, so now I've been working out after work, so in the evenings. Now I definitely see a difference in my mood. Um, you know, for me personally, working out in the morning just sets the tone for the day. So like if you do something productive in the morning, I really feel like the entire day will be productive from then on because you got the big task done, you know what I mean? You get the endorphins flowing, all those happy hormones, you know, you feel good. You feel good, you look good. Now this day I particularly felt anxious. I've struggled with gym anxiety and anxiety in general for a while now. Now something that I tell myself is that I'm focusing on me. I'm here for me and no one else. So I shouldn't care about what other people think or what I perceive people to think of me. Now the biggest thing for me in anxiety, and I think many others can relate to this, is that we think that everybody is looking at us, that they're making fun of us, that they're judging us for being here. When in reality, most gym goers are actually really, really sweet and they're actually really encouraging. Honestly, people are in their own elements like if you look in the back of my videos nobody's paying attention okay like I'm, I'm even recording with a phone everybody is doing their own workout they're focusing on them now if you tell yourself that everybody has a schedule right everybody has to work everybody has things to do that they don't really want to take the time to either um you know look at you make fun of you all that stuff now if you ever see people staring at you yeah it does it does take a toll on you because you're like what are they staring at blah 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 half the time people are just looking at you because they want to see uh, your form maybe they don't know how to do an exercise so they're looking at you uh, maybe they like your outfits maybe they like your nails maybe like your hair like a lot of times I, I am a sucker for it honestly if people stare at me i'm like what the hell are you staring at right but a lot of times when girls stare at me they'll come up to me and be like hey i like your leggings i like your nails i like your hair or can you show me how to do this so i try to train myself now that it's not necessarily that they're staring at me for a negative reason they could just be staring at you because they find you pretty they like something that you're wearing blah blah maybe they're shy like you but trust me i've been there when i was a beginner i did not like anybody staring at me regardless good bad anything i did not like people staring at me especially when i was trying out something that i was super uncomfortable with i didn't want anyone judging me or looking at me so if that's the case try to go early in the morning or late at night so as you can see the gym is pretty dead 
this morning. So it's early in the morning. It's like nine o'clock, right? It's all the older people. They're super sweet. Usually people are doing cardio. So I went into my own little corner, did my little exercises. Something that you can do to beat anxiety is to plan your workouts. Write it down, have a notebook, have it on your phone, okay, anything. Because if you go in there with a plan, you, you're not gonna be distracted by other people. But if you're going in there being like, hey, I'm just gonna you know, see what I feel like working out, that's when you're gonna start looking at others, not minding your own business, right? And you're gonna get in your head. So if you go in there, focus, knowing that I wanna use this, this machine, this dumbbell, this, 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 you're not gonna care what anyone else thinks of you. Another thing you can do is have a playlist, have some nice music. Honestly, I have a playlist on YouTube here where I just play all the songs. I have wireless earbuds, so I really don't care. I'm just listening to the music. And cause I find like when I don't have music in, I'm listening to the sounds of the gym and it makes me anxious. Cause I hear people's conversations, you know, and I'm like, oh, are they talking about me blah 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 but like get out of your head okay listen to your music pretend you're in a music video that's what i do um you can even listen to an audiobook anything just distract yourself another thing you can do is to be confident now to be confident is being having confidence in the exercise that you're doing right now practice makes perfect so if you are not sure how to do a type of movement or exercise in the gym do your research there is tons of videos on youtube explaining form tips if you're still nervous after that get a personal trainer um, you can go with a friend and ask them hey how's my form you can ask somebody in the gym people are super sweet you can just go up to somebody hey uh i saw you doing this do you mind showing me how to do it trust me super sweet Um, another thing is you can you can use a workout app where they have videos showing you the form and how to do the exercise. Now I know that when everybody is first starting out, it can be super nerve wracking to be in the gym, trying something out, having everybody watching you, having eyes on you. But like I said, people are in their own little bubble, okay? Chances are, if somebody's watching you, maybe they don't want you to get yourself injured, right? If they see you doing something completely dangerous, they're probably like, hey, like I kind of want to step in and correct you, but like they should be doing that in a nice way. If they are rude, I'm so sorry for that. Um, this is not all gym people. Most of us are super nice, so I'm sorry for that. But most people are really sweet and they are willing to help you. Going back to my healthy, nutritious things, I am working with Good Protein and they sent me the acai berry, acai, acai berry, and I got the cookies and cream plant-based protein. I cannot take whey protein. Now, if you're like me and you've taken whey protein and you kind of get that bloated gut, you feel not so great, you feel nauseous, chances are you're allergic to whey. I didn't know it for the longest time. I just thought like, okay, everyone reacts like this, but I switched to plant protein and that is gone. Not only that, this good protein has probiotics in it, so it makes you have a healthy gut and I'm adding some Greek yogurt for some extra protein. The good protein shakes have protein in it already. Honestly, it's my nice little sugar craving snack i have this in the evening i have this in the morning super easy to grab i have like tons of bags of protein in my house so that if i'm ever hungry you know straight after the gym or before the gym i can have this it's very light has probiotics tastes great the ingredients are simple you can read all of them there's not many additives in it and it's vegan i'm back back from the gym i had a great workout now i have my protein smoothie use code shay 30 for 30 percent off not 20 anymore i have a new code y'all get 30 30 so this is the akai berry let's try it out mm. so creamy oh my god this is my after workout snack beats the sugar cravings looks cute look aesthetic Okay, time to go shower. Another healthy girl habit is to invest in your hygiene. You don't want to be one of those people smelling up the gym. Everybody's kind of like, who, is you? who is that? Who let Tucky the pew into this gym, okay? So get some deodorant. Shower after the gym. Don't be musty, girl, okay? Don't be wearing the same gym clothes for a week. I see some guys in the gym, and honestly, they're wearing the same clothes the entire week. 
and they don't they wonder why people don't want to work out next to them okay don't smell musty i'm using antibacterial soap this is dental soap um, this honestly this has been around for years but it is antibacterial so i'm making sure that every single inch of my skin especially after going to the gym touching the machines touching the floor all that stuff is nice and clean immediately after the gym i take off my gym clothes because those clothes have touched the machines that it's been outside i don't wear my outside clothes inside you know what i mean i won't go sit on my bed nothing like that take off the clothes put it in the laundry basket and that is going to be washed and then i'm going to wash my entire body and then i'm going to feel refreshed for the day actually if you didn't know this if you smell it's actually from bacteria so in, under your armpits it's bacteria that causes that smell so wear deodorant use antibacterial soap make sure you're nice and fresh and clean i actually carry body spray in my gym bag so i smell fresh at all times carry a stick of deodorant carry extra socks you know just make yourself feel good smell good look good feel good Right after showering, I'm going to be moisturizing my skin, making sure that I don't want any dry skin, especially in the colder seasons, colder weather. Um, I moisturize every single day because I want my skin to look nice and shiny, nice and healthy. And it's getting into summer, so it's going to be a lot hotter. I want to make sure that the sun isn't damaging my skin. I want to make sure that it's nice and soft. After the gym, I do my full nighttime skincare. So this is where I'm using lactic acid. I'm using glycolic acid. I'm using all the expensive products that I didn't want to use before the gym because I feel like that's just a waste. Why sweat off the products? So I'm doing this right after the gym. So I feel nice and squeaky. Okay, I'm back. All clean, fresh, squeaky clean in my PJs, my comfy clothes. So let's finish up the smoothie. Mm. Mm -mm. so creamy today was the f well i always experience gym anxiety but today was like a little bit bad because it's not my usual routine so i had a day off today because it's easter so i was like let me go to the gym in the morning usually I go in the evenings and because it wasn't my normal routine it kind of like threw me off so i was like a little bit anxious like oh it's gonna be different people there blah 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 but honestly, I just like, on the way to the gym, I'm just telling myself, I'm like, look, you've been going to the gym for years. You have nothing to worry about. Look what you preach to people. Like, nobody cares about what you're doing in the gym. No one's making fun of you. No one's laughing at you. Just go in, look focused, get it done, get out. And that's what I did. And honestly, I saw a couple of like gym people that I know. So I chatted with them and the anxiety just like kind of went away because I realized I'm doing this for me and for no one else. So I don't care what you guys think about me because I'm putting in the work for me. I showed up, okay? I could have been in bed watching Netflix. I showed up, okay? And now we're gonna have a healthy day. And I'm gonna show you how I take my creatine in one second. Creatine has many benefits, and if you're interested, click the video up at the top. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.